Hi, good morning and welcome to today's Products in Focus. Uh, most global markets again edging that little bit higher. SPX 500 closing above 2000 as peace talks in Ukraine uh, between their president and Vladimir Putin uh, seem to have gone relatively OK. But with Vladimir Putin uh, ensuring that he needs to, uh, that his uh, counterpart in the Ukraine needs to speak to the rebels directly, that Russia will not specifically intervene because obviously they're saying they have no sway over their pro-separatists. But anyway, um, global markets moving uh, nicely forward in the back of some quite positive uh, data from the US yesterday as well and uh, I think we reached pretty much uh, bang on the same uh, level that we did uh, at the mid-July there so we were at 17151 question is well today will we break that but we are above potential resistance um, I guess I actually need to go ahead here and uh, draw this level on here a little bit better uh, just so we can get uh, get ready for the next potential uh, resistance breakout. So looking at the UK 100, uh, very volatile session yesterday as evidenced by this candlestick right here. But we are moving a little bit closer towards potential resistance at 68.74. Uh, technicals are uh, still have room for maneuver. MACD just crossing the zero line. Uh, slow stochastic and RSI just about to head into overbought territory, but no signal yet to sell. So that's looking okay. Japan 225 struggling a little bit above potential uh, above potential support. I'll say broken resistance now acting as potential support at 15488. Next potential resistance 15828. But more importantly, let's look at dollar yen because that's the real catalyst. It's got a very similar formation right here as well. So 103 spot 77 is the potential support level. We're a little bit away from there right now, but it's looking kind of top heavy right now. Uh, the next potential resistance still remains at 104 spot 67. Looking at crude oil West Texas, it's probably still bouncing around 95, which it has been the last couple of days. This level is very strategic in the short term. Uh, it looks to be consolidating around this level, which could be a springboard back up to 97 spot 64. Um, but the recent fundamentals uh, are still weighing quite heavily on crude West Texas, especially the, the US dollar. But things seem to be brightening up in regards to global demand. So maybe this could be um, an interesting level to, uh, to keep an eye on because uh, we've already had such a big downplay right here. Um, it depends uh, on global demand in the future. Looking at gold, gold had a really strong session at the start of yesterday's session only to get pushed back down again. I was trying again today. It's kind of hard to tell which direction this is really going to go, but certainly we're in the middle of two ranges, 1295 at the top and 1267 at the bottom. Euro dollar, again, is where a lot of the action is. We had a, a negative day breaking down below potential support, one spot 31.93. We've had a rebound this morning, but that could just be a retracement, uh, in which case this will potentially be the new resistance level. Uh, so keep an eye, one spot 31.93 is a level to look at. Uh, and obviously lots of FX traders involved in Euro dollar right now and cable as well. We actually need to draw these levels on here a little bit more clearly. You can see we've been bouncing around in one spot 65.58 and the next level is down the bottom of this candle at 64.63. So um, a little bit of whipsawing across 65.58 right now, but this level does look to be strategic in the short term as well. So I can have data wise, we do have crude oil inventories due at 3.30, which would be good for West Texas and Brent, uh, depending on which view you have. And if you fast forward on to tomorrow, a fair amount of information. You've got German employment data will be good for Euro dollar. Um, although it will be good for Euro dollar, but it will impact Euro dollar. You've got uh, consumer confidence as well at 10 a.m. UK time, US GDP and US jobless claims. So actually a lot of fundamental data due tomorrow could be the next driver for uh, for moves on equities and FX. Keep your, your eye on the chart form as ever for uh, trade setups from our global analyst team. And make sure you make insights part of your layout going forward. And join me again tomorrow to find out what happened next.